Hey, the YouTube is Good News 73 making a knife video, and today we're looking at an open L. And in particular, we're looking at an open L number 8 in walnut with stainless steel. And the open L, it's a very old French knife design, been around for over a hundred odd years. Um, I think they look very nice, they offer a great value. This is an upscale, upscale version. Usually, they just come with beech wood, seen here in my open on number seven, slightly smaller version. This is like their entry level sort of. This it doesn't feel bad or look. This looks normal, you know. This walnut has a much, really nice, chatoyance to it. Nice look, very dark in comparison. And, um, this is, like I said, the number eight, probably the most common size you'll see. Uh, nice blade shape, great for EDC, very thin, so it'll be a very nice slicer, while the handle is kind of big, so you get a good grip. And um, it does lock in the open position, and it also locks in the closed position, which is kind of nice. Just twist it like that twist open. It has a nail neck, but I don't use it. I just pinch the blade and open it up. Um, it has the open uh, like logo right there. A couple of fingers, two fingers pointing at a crown. And that's like their like shield of arm signal insignia. You can see it says open L and Inox. It says number eight on the tang and made in France and really light writing. And it also says open L on the I cannot pronounce the first word. But it's in French. So it's France, you know. Sav Savior France? I don't know. But a very nice knife, very cheap. Um this is about fifteen dollars. And you get walnut, you get a good fit and finish, nice blade shape. Um so very good value with the open L knives. And let's get some size comparisons here. What I have, I have uh, a Victorinox Camper. It's a bit bigger. I have here uh, the Open on number seven in carbon steel, obviously, <laughs> and um, the ZTO three fifty composite blade. About the same size, actually. And then a larger knife would be the uh, Spyderco Military. You can see the Military is a lot larger. And uh, I just want to get, um, and for some reason, if you watch my videos, my camera would not focus when you zoomed or zoomed out in the past. And now, today, for some reason, it decided it wanted to focus when you bring it in. So you can see the walnut, really just beautiful wood on here, very nice grain and detail, bit of a dark spot right there, the open, the blade shape is very nice in my opinion, um, it's a very nice knife I think, very inexpensive, very smooth. Very nice and ergonomic in the hands. So that's nice. And like I said, I think this would be a great EDC, especially if you're on a budget. It's definitely different. You don't see too many people carrying openals. You know, you're most likely to see like a, like a Swiss Army knife. And the only complaint I have against the openal here is just how thick the handle is. It makes it different, difficult carry in the pocket. So just comparing here, here's my camper. This is a mid-sized Swiss Army knife. It doesn't have too many tools. Maybe, it's, you know, that, how many layers of that? Maybe three or four. And you see it's about, if anything, it might be actually thinner than the Opinal, if not the same size. But with this, you get the same blade thickness, but you get all these other tools. With this, you just get a knife. So if you don't mind just carrying it, if you're like 
you have to you sacrifice all this bulk, but you just get a blade. If you don't mind that, it's fine. It's really lightweight. This thing is super lightweight. I'm not sure how light offhand, but it's definitely lighter weight than the uh, Swiss Army knife I just had. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.